And here, welcome back to Grimsly Adventures. Uh, it's a Saturday. I have no plans, no friends, no idea to go out drinking. There are no crickets not on, nor is the rugby or anything else. So I'm playing Sly. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the greatest energy in the world today, but tough. All right, what are we doing? All right, this is Sly, so this should cheer me up and get some energy back. All right. So, yes, about five minutes to go off screen. I got all of the clue bottles. Why I didn't record it? Because I was still listening to my podcast and I didn't want to set up my recording equipment when I didn't have to. So, tough. All right. So we're going to go get the thing and we're going to do my two favorite of the setup missions for the this part's great heist thing. Drown. Haha. <laughs> and away. So, yeah, it should be fun. I think we... Is it the one where we uh, take out the water tower with... Did we take out the water tower? And what's the other one we do? Oh, Big House Brawl, which I don't really like so much, but it's entertaining enough as it is. Okay. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, swords and axes. Smash. Ha-ha. And statue. Ha-ha. All right. Safe. Open magic safe. Uh, at least 140. Oh, you're just an asshole, Bentley. Just an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the freaking code, you douchebag. Two, four, eight. Ray. Eh? Huh? What's that? Long toss. Oh, it just means I can throw items further. I suppose it's kind of useful. No, I won't knock it. Okay, so... Not exactly... Pr uh, does it work for Bentley as well? It seemed like more of a Bentley power-up. Because he always uses throwing bombs and distractions and stuff. Sly, I think, uh... Upgraded melee attack or a silent, fast-moving movement speed thing would probably be better for him. Oh, well. Right, and away we go. Uh, where are we going... Uh, we'll just... Whoa! Yep. We'll just do this. We'll go on to the roof of the prison. Yep. And... Yes, up here. Nope. Camera. Help me out, camera. Alright. There we go. Uh, getting a bit of energy back. Uh, for those of you who give a shit, or were wondering at all, uh, why I wasn't having much energy, well, I got turned down for another job. Again. I do actually have a very bloody good CV, and everyone says I have a great CV. But apparently I'm just too young and inexperienced enough to get a job in today's market. And what I always hate about that argument is the fact that I will, no, will not get enough experience unless you actually give me a chance and give me a job. And the age thing, well, you know, that's a timing thing and nothing to do with me. So a bit bummed about that. Uh, good thing though. Steam had a, a nice sale, so... Managed to pick up... Oh, damn it. Really? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, that's the thing about the X-Circle thing on Sly. I hate. It's random. You think you're looking at the right thing. Especially on this level and the next level, actually. It's, this is, becomes a bitch problem. But, seriously. I was looking at the pipe and then I jumped all the way down. I think you should only be able to jump to the next visible object that you can see. So, for example, say I'm here, if I hit X and circle, I should only be able to jump to this pipe here. I should not be able to jump onto the pipe down there. So, yeah, game, you're not endearing yourself at the moment. You need to just calm down and take a deep breath and man up for a second. Okay, what was I doing? Back to the previous man. So, yeah, I was a bit bummed about that. Although, Steam Sale came on, so I got all of the uh, Dawn of Wars, the Steam version of all the Dawn of Wars, so I can finally play with friends and get the get all the mods for it, which is good. The Company of Heroes, the the first one, which I, in my opinion is the best, also uh, was on sale, so that was really good. I like the original Company of Heroes. And Mighty Ape, which I highly recommend. JB Hi-Fi and Mighty Ape are the 
best places in my opinion to go for games in New Zealand if you want to you know buy some games uh, they've got another sale on so I was thinking of getting Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 which are I think 15 and 10 dollars respectively so that's a pretty good deal I suppose there should be a lot to be grateful for so yeah we'll go with that shall we good talk guys good talk okay uh, awful lot like a, it does actually look like a water tower oh Bentley you come off as such a whiny scrote that even if it is spoilers even the fact that it is a giant attack robot you sell it so badly that it just doesn't work realistically okay <laughs> yeah asshole you really don't you have to explain it you have to say it's disguised to look as a water tower you don't explain it in a nerdy way you explain it in a way that Sly would understand but no he keeps being all nerdy and defensive about it which is why I'm less likely to trust this trust Bentley about this so yeah a bolt will strike and destroy a giant attack robot posing as a water tower Accurate, oh, fuck off, Bentley, with your supposed big words. Right. Well, I like this mission because it's a nice, easy, sort of, nice, friendly, oh, I forgot about that, platforming mission. So all we do is we run around the map and hit circle on the things we need to hit circle on. Nice, easy, simple thing to do. Right. Uh, and away. Up. Ha ha. All right. Back into the sly mindset. Do, 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 up we go. Ah. Well, flashlight guard. Oh, that flashlight guard. Oh, he, he moved now. He looked really con like contemplating. Like he looked like he was contemplating his meaning as a guard. Like he was saying, maybe I could be more than just a hired henchman. Maybe I could have hopes and aspirations and dreams. I mean, I always wanted to be an accountant when I grew up. My, you know, my parents said no. So, you know what? Maybe it's about time, Mr. Guard, that you consider a new career change. Never let anyone hold you back, Mr. Guard. Do what you dream to do. And yes, I'm talking shit again, but you have to indulge me on it. And if you don't actually know how much I talk shit, you clearly are not a loyal viewer to this channel. Uh, yep. By the way, speaking on the subject of loyal viewers, thank you anyone here who is a loyal viewer of my channel and watches this series. I do gratefully appreciate you guys. I know I don't actually list, me, you know, comment as much and say as much in the videos stating how much I appreciate it, but I do. Oop, a bit of a drop. So, yes, thank you very much for everyone who watches this, you know. I do appreciate it in my subtle, not obvious way. Right, where are we going? Uh -huh. Also, I like the fact that they don't give you objective markers, they just let the lightning decide it, which, you know, means you have to look at it and explore it yourself. It's pretty piss easy to deduce where the locations are, but I like it. I think it adds a bit of an exploration element to this mission that you wouldn't normally see. Alright, now, we need to look, look, lightning over there, which means that must be another conductor. And we go there. See? All works out. Whoa! Yeah, I forgot. They're lightning conductors. Also, this seems like a major safety hazard. Like, really, it does. You've got henchmen patrolling the roofs. You know, this house. I mean, is there an earth grounding wire going through this house? Are the tenants happy with the fact that there's a lightning conductor on the roof? this guard annoyed that he noticed me okay shove off I'm going to throw you off the roof thank you very much All right and I have no stem stamina pool so away we'll just run All right there we go last one nice All right up oh, forgot about that and away see up oh, careful about that sneak by ah Nope. Yes, good. Drop dead. Greatly appreciated. Smack that out of the way. I don't like that sort of architecture. Right. 
Just wait. Alright, quick. One. Two. Just jump off. Nice. And three. Haha. -ha. Alright, big reveal. Yes, it was a giant attack robot. But Bentley's still a twat. And nobody likes him. Poor giant attack robot too. Probably had sentience. It was probably a, you know, a, had artificial intelligence. It was capable of independent thought. It was just doing its job, and we killed it. We, we fried its robotic brain with lightning. We are horrible, horrible people. All right, where are we going now? Oh yes, we're going to, to beat a kill count ratio. If you're wondering, um, what? kill count uh, what's going on here we're going to the next mission which basically is all about getting the highest kill count okay hey yep let's go well so this is very plot convenient right that water pouring out of the pipe always like knocks you back but just at this one time it's disabled so you're able to crawl up the um, crawl up the right. sewer pipes into the prism. It's very plot convenient. It, Bentley doesn't say, I managed to turn off the water, but you only have 20 minutes sort of thing. Or anything like that. It just turns off and then immediately turns back on again. It's very plot convenient. Right, where are we going? Oh, no, it's scripted. Hey, ah, how do we know this is exactly his cell? Fly? Um... Man, you're a moron, Murray. Over in the wall. In the back wall. <laughs> no, I'm in the oh, ceiling. So no, I'm in your head. I'm a voice in your head. Don't forget to kill all the whores. And after that, buy a bagel. Okay. So they're force feeding you food with drugs on it. Lovely. Okay, in a solitary confinement cell. It's not actually that much of a weakness once you get into the prison cell. I trust. Well. Relate to you guys. Oh, the Murray. Excellent. <sighs> okay, come on. Yeah, I'm somehow in a real prison, right? Well, first, let's simulate it, right? But somehow in a real prison, I think killing 50 guards would get you automatically executed. Or 50 inmates would get you automatically executed. I think in any other realistic circumstance. So that's north. That's east. Never eat shredded wheat. Oh, okay. No, no. Makes sense. Um, but I think I'd probably kill you for, you know, killing 50 other inmates. Um, you know, somehow. I know in today's pussy-footed, pathetic justice system and criminal system, they probably wouldn't, but... In a prison like this, they would probably actually kill you for killing 50 other inmates. Or transfer you to another prison, maybe. Just possibly. Oh well, with that aside. I hate this prison! I'm going on a rampage! I hate this toilet! Hate the toilet! What am I doing here? The camera's making me up. Die, you stupid inmate! I don't like you! You know what? Kill everyone in the world! Blood for the blood god! Blood. Die! I will kill five billion of you! Die! Ow! Ow! Man! My health gone went down quickly! Die! Die! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! Ah. Come on, we're all thinking it. I mean... You're, you're tasked to kill 50 enemies. I mean, there's a scoreboard on it. Um, you're clearly insane. It was either that or, you know, something from ripping off one of those really bad, you know, violent 90s video games. You know? I'm not sure the ones... I'm not talking about Doom or those. You know the ones where they like, keep you to get a sofa, like, twisted metal or... You know, one of those... A game along those genre would spring to mind at this. We're not going to, you know, hello, oh, there's someone that's killed 31 people. Should we, you know, maybe send in the flashlight guards or, you know, different type of guard or different type of inmate to sort these guys out? 
No, just the same guy. Totally cool with that. Okay. Oh, smash. We smash. Kill. Blood. Blood for the blood. God. Ow. Oh. Do not care from where the blood blows. Only that it blows. Also, it's kind of fucked up that they keep the counter on the thing here. And is 50 guards the limit for you being sent to solitary? So you're saying that some guy, you know, pissed me off, I can fucking shank him, and I won't get sent to solitary, and I, it'll be the fact I have to kill 50 guards that gets me sent to solitary? It's a bit messed up. <laughs> Eat that, you incarcerating suckers. Well, you're a bad line. That's like a 90s or 80s line. Okay. Gonna throw me in solitary? Of course. No, I'd probably shoot him. Because he's clearly a violent, evil inmate. No? Totally cool with this? I'm out. I'm tired. Ugh. Also, at the time of this recording, I haven't released today's video. I should really get around to that. I'll do it after this recording. What is today's video? Well, tomorrow's video is this, so what's today's video? Can't remember, to be honest. Oh, well, you guys will figure it out. Right. The plan. Okay, so we're going to hijack a tank. And we're going to... Sneak it into the facility, park it up in the prison ground, and blow open the doorway. Instead of blow up, blowing up in the main gate, because we have a tank, and killing everyone and everything we see. Which is what I would do. And also, if we were forced to abandon the tank, I'd put tripwires in it, so when someone else tries to take control of the tank, they both of them and the tank blow up. Uh, scorched earth, don't leave anything standing. Right, oh, Bentley has to start the mission. Pedal whiskets. Pedal, pedal biscuits, that's what I was trying to say. I said pedal whiskets instead. I don't think there's anything called a whisket somehow. Right. Because I'm psychotic, I'm going to kill you. I could just, you know, sleep you guys and walk away. But I'm going to kill you, because I am evil. I am chaotic evil. Mwahaha. Okay, uh, one, well, oh, really, you just, if you'd actually charged instead of rough barked at me, you probably would have not, ah, you fucker, you probably would have died. Right, get in the tank, in the shitty tank. No, the search light ain't going to shoot me there, but it was going to shoot me all the way. Also, Increasing the ride height on the treads? What tank can do that? I know in a car it could do that, but what... What tank could do that? It makes no sense. Oh well. Ah, it is pretty cool, I must admit. Ah, just wait for the security thing to go by. And in we go, underneath the tank. I feel like we're, we're a commando unit here. Din, din, din. No, it's Mission Impossible. Screw it. Din, 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 in history, history, there are no guards checking underneath the tank or checking for illegal chemicals, drugs, or explosives. Do, 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 do. This is not a real song anymore. No, it is not a real song. Quick. Boom. 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 It's a pretty shitty gun if it takes three shots to get through a door. Must be like a little 20 millimeter cannon. Alright. Are we going in? Yes, we are. Alright, we're in the prison. Oh, spiders. Why does it always have to be spiders? Why can't it be follow the butterfly? 
follow the butterflies, follow the butterflies, Wee! This is the crappest prison design ever. Although, I actually honestly appreciate a prison that doesn't have Sky TV. You know, decent beds and fucking treats the inmates like God. Seriously, I'm going to have a rant a dedicated when I start doing podcasts and my proposed As I See It series, which makes literally no sense to you, don't worry, I'll explain it later on. I'm going to have a big rant about our pathetic justice system in New Zealand. But, just right off the top of the bat, I've heard stories of people who, you know, who would willingly go into prison, you know, willingly commit crimes just so they could, you know, go into prison, have stable meals and stable, you know, roof over their head, have TV and stuff for a few months, and then when, or for a year or two, then when they get out again, immediately recommit a crime and do it again. It's bullshit. So this prison here, having spike traps, lava traps and generally looking and acting like an absolutely horrible place to live is quite refreshing for a change, I must admit. In fact, if all prison cells looked like that one uh, in this country, I would appreciate it. Die. Off the end. Yep, goodbye. Look. Look, you have a bed, you have a toilet, you have a sink. That's all you need. All you need. You're a prisoner. You, you murdered someone or committed a crime. I don't think you should be entitled to the same shit I'm entitled to or law-abiding citizens are entitled to. So, eat shit. Literally, eat shit, because I can't be bothered feeding you today. Do you know in... No, I'm just going on fucking massive tangent here. But, in New Zealand, I think this is the time of 2009, it's now 2015, but it costs 98... basically $98,000 a year to keep a prisoner in a medium security prison cell in New, the country of New Zealand. $98,000 a year. Now, I'm sorry, but I could think of a lot better things to do with tax dollars than, you know, spending a few million, or it might even be, you know, 20, 100, might even be a billion dollars keeping prisoners in this country with, on that wage. You know, it's bullshit. Tax dollars are going into paying for prisoners to have $98,000 a year accommodation. I find that slightly bullshit. But back to the game, because I'm getting all philosophical and I'm getting all political and shit, and that's not that's not what this series is about. That's what my future podcasty type series will be about. This series is about playing Sly. Which I must admit, I'm having a lot of luck with this mission. And I used to do this prison thing, you know, it used to be really difficult. Like navigating I didn't understand that you had to navigate around all the separate floors. And I always used to get stun locked and fall off the edge and force me to, you know, go back and forward and up and down and oh, it took 20 years to get this done the first time I played it. Actually, it took so long just by the annoying platforming that I think I said fuck it and went off and played Ratchet and Clank for like half an hour before I came back and actually managed to finish this level. Uh, I'm not going in there. Let's go this way. Uh huh. Also, I I like to question what the purpose of this cell is. Is that for the Joker or a maximum security prisoner you really don't want to get out? You know, if they manage to get out, they just drop and break both their legs, or they jump and try and grab one of these hooks and slit their hand open. Any particular reason for that prison system? Or are you just doing it for the random giggles? Ew, spiders. Oh, first time I played this, I got right to here, right? I was about to jump and the spider spawned and knocked me off the edge. That was actually when I quit and played Ratchet and Clank for half an hour. Gosh, that was annoying. Back in the day. Uh, I'm not going in there because there's a gun turret. But if you're playing this game, then feel free to go in there with the gun turret. Yeah, die. Aha! Now, we're going to cause a prison riot. We're going to smash all the controls. Because we can. I'm also going to smash the chair. Haha! Try sitting down now, God. Okay, I'm running your Pardon algorithmic me. Code decryptor. Algorithmic code. Algor Screw it, your code decryptor. Success. Alright, solitary confinement. Cool. Alright. And. Oh, I love how Sly can survive a fall from any height. And it's just. You know, magical that way. Whoa! And he can dodge gun turrets. 
Not because Sly is awesome, just because my gameplay is that awesome. And of course the door closes behind us. Whoa! Ooh, Don't take drugs, kids. Don't take like drugs. That's the shit it does to you. He's all twitchy. Or maybe it, that's just acid. No, it's drugs in general. Okay, forced to eat spice. Okay, spice, right? to eat spice. Yeah. yeah he said oh, he was and... Also, ugh. I do these records laid out on my bed because you know what? Screw it! I have a double bed right next door to my 42-inch plasma flat-screen TV, so you know, I'm of course I'm going to play lying on my bed. But it's been raining recently in Auckland at the moment, and it's so bloody humid and sticky. And don't take that out of context, guys. Alright, why all the hell's going to break down? Probably take down the door. So your big plan for someone who's hopped up on drugs and is violently unstable and evil is to intensify the effect of the drugs by hypnotizing him and causing him to become homicidally insane. Because logic. Alright, well, first off, I think... Well, so for solitary confinement, there's a lot of tables and chairs. And there's only... W oh, no, there's like four cells? Wait, one, two... Yeah, four cells. So there's a lot of tables and chairs for like four people. Just a by the by notice. Alright, yeah. Oop. Oh! No, I'm, I'm starting again. I'm going to start again. Start again from here. I ain't doing this. I'm doing this without getting lasered. Yeah, all right. Whoop. Whoa, yeah. That's better. See, that's how it's supposed to be done. Right. Uh, one, two. Yeah, four solitary confinement cells. That's interesting. So there's four standard solitary confinement cells plus one maximum security solitary, solitary confinement cell. That kind of makes sense. I can kind of understand that. Alright, just shoot the door, and shoot the red things. Also, I forgot how how much I didn't miss hacking. Alright, ow. Alright, gang, gang. Open fire, little blue pixel. You know what? Whenever I play, do a hacking mission in any Sly game from now on, I'm going to refer to the things as pixels. Because it's all they are. Pixels. The green pixel with a gun fighting the red pistol pixels without a gun. Okay, in we go. Well, so I think he says random lines when you turn on the hypno boxes. I think. My memory of this is slightly off because it's been, I think as I established at the start of this year, it's like a year or something since I played it. Okay, no, he doesn't have any funny lines, he just has insane lines. Lovely. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, I don't think these solitary prisoners are going anywhere with all the walkways down. I'll take care of the laser I'll take care of the... Why can't you just take care of all the laser balls at the same time? Was that established in the um, dialogue that I wasn't paying attention to? Because I was talking about how New Zealand's justice system is pathetic. Probably the latter rather than the former. Also, they're ramping up the difficulty. Some of the red pixels have guns. Yeah, charge! Full attack! Aha! What was it? Full attack! Oh no, that was from a Warhammer 50k novel. I was thinking of a really badass action scene. And it was from Titanium. A story by... Is it... Abnett? Dan Abnett? Yeah, I think it's about Dan Abnett, and it's about the Mechanicum in Titan Legions. And it has, like, no space marines in it. I know. 40k novel not having space marines in it? What's going on with the universe? Hmm. Alright. I could be talking about the game here, but realistically, the, I think the visual explains itself. You're a green pixel, you shoot even smaller green pixels at red pixels while avoiding other red pixels. You know, I think it's online with Space Harrier. It's kind of not that complicated. Alright. And we, where we go? And I know I'm talking shit about this game at the moment, but 
remember, I am tired and bum that I didn't get a job and, you know, and it's bloody humid in the city at the moment. So you should totally ignore everything I'm saying. Okay, nice. So he's now happy crazy, or he's now crazy crazy. Interesting. Right, what are we doing? Over here. But yeah, I do like this game. As I stated, it goes on my Superstar Tag Team Best Game Ever list. Which I should really release someday. Except none of you actually bother to ask um, what it is, so I don't really bother telling you it. I just tell you some of the games off it and then let you figure out the rest yourselves using your magnificent, highly evolved brains. Which I have no doubt that all of you have. Unless you're actually a dog or like a cat that just stumbled on and discovered how to play YouTube. And now you secretly play YouTube, you know, without actually understanding it. Getting insights into the human world. Or you're an alien doing a study on humanity. That would be amusing. Bang, 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 bang. Right, green pixel, activate. Ow. Damn red pixels. Right. First layer down. Aha! Open fire. Mm, shoot the turret. Open fire again. And away we go. Ah, must admit, I think the the Sly 2 version of the, the Hacky Mini game is probably the the best version, in my honest opinion. Now I know you're going. Wait, people who know this game, you're going. Wait, Sly 3's hacking game was exactly the same as this, wasn't it? Yes, but they complicated it up a bit. They added, you know, defense avatars and rockets and different types of enemies and they made you know more arbitrary irritating features to it the sly one hacking was just bullshit and the sly four hacking was a nice idea but just used to piss me off so i think this is probably the best balance of all all of the hacking mini games it has absolutely nothing to do with what happens when you hack in real life but no matter okay oh shit was not expecting that, I just got owned. So I'm getting owned by camera angle. Alright, come on. Smash the box. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> but I just dropped down and got smashed into mints. Also, your best friend's attacking you. Oh god, feel sad. Or maybe you shoot him in the head. One of the two. Of course, you're that much of a dipshit, Murray, that, you know, you can't jump over a one foot high metal barrier. Alright. Uh, uh -huh. What? what? Is, this <laughs> Is this heaven? No, it's a shitty Sorry, prison and you probably got going. bum raped. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely Why true. Center your, uh, center your thoughts. Okay. It sounds like some sort of weird My meditation breath. thing. I ought to My conscious mind is that I Mine and Hippo is friend. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more insulting, the fact that she's surprised that he's free, or the fact that he's surprised that he has friends. Probably, it was probably hidden up his ass. You were all thinking it. Come on, you were all thinking it. Where else are you going to hide something like that? Okay. Alright, grab. Now, button mashing! Uh, come on, keep mashing those buttons. Yeah! <laughs> I have forgot the traditional um, whenever you finish a lifting puzzle in this game, you always end up just randomly punching the air because you're button mashing. Uh, Alright. Yeah! We're going to kick this bitch's ass and throw her off her own prison walls. Oh, come now, Oh, come on. Can we not have the dialogue, please? No, we weren't. Okay. That doesn't even make sense. There's a place hostility. Uh, 
Why not be psychologically, productive? psychologically productive? Oh, get fucked, you pretentious, evil, ugly bitch. I'm done talking with my mouth. Yes, now good work. You should have stopped with talking with your mouth ages ago, uh, Murray. Ah, talk with your fists and smash this bitch's head in. Ah, stop relieving self-destructing spiders after me. Ah. I'm not letting you get away, you cow. I'm gonna throw you off the battlements of this prison. Ooh. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to throw you off them again, except onto spikes. Wait, ah. Aha! Knocked you off the edge. You can't escape from me. Uh, oh, I fell off the edge. Whoa! Ah. Nope. No. Also, I love how she's patiently waiting for me to half catch up before releasing these giant things again. Yeah! That explosion blew me closer. Ah, she's getting away. Quick! You have a crossbow. Shoot the blimp. Your bolts will... No, you're not going to. No. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you. Right. Job completed. Well, we've completed this part. I think that's awesome for us. And we've got the van back. Alright. Oh, Benley, don't, you smug penis get. Uh, going about how you're the hero of the day and how this is such a heartfelt moment. I really don't like your character development, Bentley. Although this is a nice touching, kind of a nice touching scene between the three of them as they, you know, have inner thoughts and laugh and live and remember the good times and all that sort of stuff. But I kind of feel that the moment's slightly lost because of Bentley's narration. Something like this, I would let Sly narrate because he's probably better at getting with all the heartfelt stuff out than Bentley, who, let's be honest, is a fucking total nerd and incapable of human interaction. But oh well, you know, enough of that. All right, well, next time we start off on a fresh new part. Should be good. Episode 5, I think there's only three left. We're getting, we're getting through this game pretty quickly, actually. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Apologies I didn't have so much energy and I ranted and raved and bitched about this the whole time. But, hey, as a viewer of my channel, you should kind of expect that. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you all again another time.